Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. Now on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a solution to a problem that a lot of people have been asking me for. Essentially, people want to have a bot that operates on their server. It will actually respond to what players put in chat. But before we get into that part of the video, I want to show you guys what I've been working on behind the scenes, kind of like low key a little bit. As I'm sure many of you know, there are a couple of very popular servers out there where you can go in and train your aiming skills or you can go in and do like team death matches i'm sure many of you know which servers i'm talking about but those are very closely guarded plugins that nobody has access to up until now so just so that you guys know what i'm talking about this is a plugin or a group of plugins like i said before that we're going to be talking about very very soon essentially what happens is is we can go into one of these cavities and it will spawn us into a different area of the map where we can do various different things so obviously in this one right here we can train our aiming skills which with the AK I have zero anyways and it shows you the bullet pattern in the top right hand corner keeps track of all of your stats etc etc or we can go into the other one over here and it'll take us to where the NPCs don't actually move. Not really sure how this is beneficial, but hey, whatever, we'll have the ability to do that. But probably one of the biggest things that most people are going to enjoy about this plugin is the fact that we can do team death matches. So we can join a team and here we go. We can do battle with the other team. Obviously, I'm on this server by myself. Therefore, it's not actually going to activate an event. But as you can see, we're going to have walls set up where the teams start out. And then you can see very quickly there on the other side of the map, Map or on the other side of this island the other team will obviously spawn over there and then obviously when the match starts the goal is obviously to kill the other team we all know how team deathmatch works anyways i just wanted to let you guys know that i am actually working on that plugin we'll call it a review slash tutorial not really sure what it's actually going to look like when the end result is done but i just wanted to give you guys a little tidbit about what i'm working on behind the scenes but anyways on to today's video so today's video is about smart chat bot now smart chat bot is obviously available from the umod website it's by my good friend Mysticos. And don't worry, I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. So like I said in the intro, basically what Smart Chat Bot does is it monitors what's going on in chat. So if a player happens to put something in chat, it triggers this bot to respond. That's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to respond with a predetermined list of responses that you get to set up. So basically, it works just like you would expect it to. If you put something in chat that triggers the bot, for example, if we type in there how this bot works, it's going to respond with this bot really works. Of course, we can configure this however we want. Don't worry. I'm going to show you all of that in just a minute. This is just the default trigger that comes with the plugin right out of the box and you don't have to do anything with it. So let's have a look at the configuration file because this is where you're actually going to do most of the work on this plugin. Of course, there are a couple of global features that need to be configured at the top of the configuration file. And this is basically just to define how the plugin is going to operate on your server. For example, the name of the bot. So by default, it's just called bot. You can change that to literally whatever you want it to be. Let's change that to SRT bowl chat bot. You also want to put a space at the end of the name so that there's a space when the bot replies in chat. Otherwise, it'll just cram the name right next to the actual message that it's going to respond with. And of course, we can change the color, etc, etc. You're going to go through all of these features. You're going to determine what's going to work best for you on your server. You can also use this bot to welcome players to your server. You can say welcome so and so name from whatever country they're from. And you can also for some reason display their IP address. Now, just so that you're aware, you can make it so that this is only visible to the person joining or the person leaving the server server. You don't necessarily want to be displaying everyone's IP address into public chat. By default, all of these triggers are set to false. So you would have to go in and make these true for any of these messages to show up in chat, the welcome or the leave. You also need to decide, are you going to show this to public chat or do you just want to make it appear to the player that's joining or leaving? There's also an auto messaging system. So if you just have a bunch of messages that you want to automatically display in your chat at various times throughout your server, then this plugin can take care of that too. Discord messages, welcome messages, rules of the server, whatever information you want to automatically display in your chat, you can make this plugin do that for you. You'll notice in the auto messages here, there is a permission associated with this. Don't worry about that. We're going to get into the permissions once we're in the game actually testing this out. Now the auto responses section. This is the part that's interesting. This is the part that most people have been asking for. You want to have a bot that automatically responds to somebody saying something in chat. Well, guess what? That's exactly what this plugin is designed to do. Same thing with the auto responses. There is a permission. Don't worry, we'll get into that the auto responses so by default this comes with one automatic response this is the one that you saw me just use in chat a minute ago when i said how does this bot work and it responded with it works really well it's just in there to show you the syntax of how you need to set these up so of course you can change the first one to something that's probably more applicable to your server 
So let's just go through these line by line. So is this one enabled? By default, this is set to true. Remove messages from sender. This is default set to false. So basically, do you want the bot to delete the message after they've put it in chat and then send the response? If you did want it set up like that, you would change this to true. Send responses for everyone or only for the sender. So the smart chat bot can respond only to the person that's actually asking the question or whatever it happens to be in chat. Or do you want it publicly visible to everyone in your server? By default, this is set to true. Therefore, everyone in the server is going to see the smart chat bot responses. Now the triggers are what is going to prompt the bot to actually respond with an answer. So the words that you see down here are what is actually going to be taken into consideration before this bot actually responds. And the percentage of the contained words is at 75% by default. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so you saw me do how this bot works and it responds with this bot really works. So let's remove some of these words. Let's do how this bot and it should still respond. This bot really works. Now, what if we only did half of them? So right now we have three of the four words that are triggers in the configuration file. Therefore, we're right at 75% right now. But what if we just do all this? And of course, we're not going to get any response because we haven't broken that 75% threshold that is required in order for the bot to respond. So just using this same configuration file before we start getting into the fancy stuff, if we change this to 50%, saved our file, reload the plugin, and then tried that again, if we go how this, now it should respond. There we go. So the chat bot responded. Oh, and as you can see there, it also changed the name of my chat bot, of course, because we changed that in the configuration file. So that's essentially how you're going to set up each one of your triggers as well as your responses. So down below your triggers are the responses or the answers that your bot is actually going to send into chat. I'm just going to change this back to 75% for right now. I'm also going to change my triggers here real quick. So let's do something like so a common question that a lot of people put into chat is when is wipe? So yeah, as you can see there, I've put when is and wipe all as trigger words and i'm going to change my percentage to exactly 100 percent therefore they have to put exactly this much information in before the chatbot is going to respond and then down below that i've changed my answers to there's a couple of different answers there you're going to see what happens in a second so of course let's save this and of course we'll reload the plugin because we made changes to the configuration file all right so let's go in game and test this out so let's do not slash when is wipe, and we should see the bot responding with there we go the server wipes on the first thursday of each month. All right, so what if we wanted to have more than one trigger that triggers this bot into action as well as a bunch of different responses? Okay, so to some of you, this might seem a little bit complicated. So what I would suggest that you do before you start any of this is take a backup of this and just copy and paste it somewhere onto a notepad or something so that if you do make a mistake at this part, you can just revert it back very easily and start over again without losing all of the work that you've done up until this point. Because basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy this section starting from this curly brace and you have to follow it down to the right curly brace and you want to grab the whole thing. So the way to figure it out which curly brace you need to copy it from, I would suggest you mark the first one right here and then scroll straight down leaving your cursor right where it needs to be and then you'll know what the bottom curly brace is. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense in my brain, but I don't know if I'm getting that across to you guys. Just make sure that you're grabbing the right brackets and the right braces. Once you've done that, once you've selected all of that, you can just copy it to your clipboard, go down to the other side of the curly brace that you just copied, put a comma there, hit enter, and then we can just paste in what we just copied from previous. Now, as you can see here, I obviously have two of the same sets of triggers as well as the same set of responses. So now we can go in and start making the changes to our triggers and our responses so that we have another response response from our chatbot. All right, so for this trigger section right here, I've changed my percentage of contained words to 50%. My trigger words are where all the PVP at, and then I've put in a couple of responses. So let's save this. Let's reload the bot and let's go in game. So let's do where all the PVP at, and we should get a response from our bot. My base is at P19, come fight me. And if we do it again, we should get another one. So lots of action all over the oil rigs, so on and so forth. You get the idea. So however many different responses you give to your bot, it will randomly pick from that list of responses and spit one out for you. So if I go back in here and I change the remove message from sender, change that to true, save reload let's see what that does for us now where are all the pvp at so it deleted it deleted my response in chat but it still responded with my base is at p19 come fight me 
So in fact, it doesn't even show up in chat, which is actually kind of cool. So as I'm sure you guys can tell, this is or can be quite a powerful plugin. It's a great way for you to convey information to your players when they're asking for it. Instead of spamming the chat full of automated messages, wait for your players to ask the question and let your smart bot take care of it for you. One thing that I said I would cover that I haven't yet is the permissions that are required for this plugin. So let's just have a look at perms group default. You'll probably work in the default group for this because you're going to want your default players most often to be able to utilize this plugin. Let's go into smart chat bot. So the messages permission are the automated messages that we talked about at the very beginning of this video. So the automated messages, do you want your default group to be able to see those messages? If you do, you want to grant them this permission. And then of course, if you want the bot to be responding to whatever your players put in chat, then of course you would put the responses permission granted to them as well. So it might take a little bit of fine tuning to figure out how many of your trigger words need to be put in separately like that. You can put full statements in there. That works too. So as you can see here, I've changed this also that it's all on one line and I've changed my percentage to 100%. And as you can see here, if, if I use the same trigger again, it still responds with lots of action over at the oil rigs. But that only works because I put in exactly how it's written in the configuration file. So if I just do, if I just take one word out of that, it's not even going to trigger the bot. It's not going to delete my message. And obviously it's not going to respond. So as you can see, you can do a lot of really cool things with this chat bot. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. You of course can join my discord at discord.srtbull.com. Remember, if you guys want to get notified when I do release the video on Dana's aim train plugin, as well as the scrim plugins, you have to be subscribed to the channel. So I'm hoping today is the day that I earn your subscription. And I also really hope that you guys are looking forward to that video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on smart chatbot. And just so you know, I do put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until then, I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. Hey, listen, thanks for watching today's video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Check out these videos on the, I'm not sure which side they're going to be on, but check out one of these videos. And if you want to see what I do during the day at my regular boring day job, check out this channel just above me here right now. It gets barely any love because seriously, I'd much rather be doing this type of stuff 